I can't believe you write for this Jay Peterman catalog. Uh, get this one. I packed my rod and reel. Thirty hours later, lost in the fjord. A welcoming smile. Thank God she spotted the epaulets on my Norwegian ice fishing vest. <laughs> I can't believe you write for this Jay Peterman catalog. Uh, get this one. I pack my rod and reel. Thirty hours later, lost in the fjord. A welcoming smile. Thank God she spotted the epaulets on my Norwegian ice fishing vest. <laughs> get this one. I pack my rod and reel. Thirty hours later, lost in the fjord. A welcoming smile. Thank God she spotted the epaulets on my Norwegian ice fishing vest. Okay, yes, difficult words. I'll talk about it tomorrow. They're actually pretty good. So the key here, um, ice fishing. Fishing is the key. And with fishing, we have co-location. So ice fishing, fishing vest, uh, rod, and reel. This is co-location. Now, the other key would be Norwegian. And uh, co-location with Norwegian would be Fjord, okay? The other co-location is with J. Peterman catalogs, which is about clothing, so vest and epaulets. These kind of go together. So there are some connecting words, and mo most of you who got ice fishing also got rod and reel, okay? Uh, if you got Norwegian, a couple people got fjord, one person got epaulets. And I'm guessing you went online to look at the script. That's okay. You can do that. I understand. So at the top, get this one, get this one, get this one, get this one. Great expression. And we use it a lot. Okay. So I'll explain it tomorrow. Sounds go together. Get this one, get this one, get this one. I pack my, I pack my, very, very tough to hear this ED, but it's there. Um, if you look at the entire flow of the story, it must be past tense. So what happens? Perfect pronunciation, packed my, packed my, but we've got this mmm sound here, and that's a strong sound, and the packed, we use a stop T, packed. So I go to the K, and then my tongue goes to the T. There's no movement. Pat, then the tongue. So I stop here for the K, and then the tongue comes to the T. Pat, t. okay, if I finish the T. Pat, t. pat, t. but I stop at the T. I go K, stop, T, stop, pat, my, and right to the M. So stop, stop. M. Stop on the K, stop on the T, M. I pecked my, I pecked my, and my, I can feel everything stopping. I pecked my, I pecked my, I pecked my rod and reel, rod and reel, okay? If you like fishing, like me, then rod and reel should be simple. If you don't like fishing, if you don't know about fishing, new vocabulary, I'll tell you tomorrow. I pecked my rod and reel. 30 hours later, 30 hours later, so it sounds like a trip, 30 hours later, lost in the fjord, yes. And again, if you look online, the spelling is wrong, okay? So be careful online. I can always see uh, who's going there. That's okay, you can do it, but don't believe everything. Uh, lost in the fjord, Norwegian, and that's co-location. Lost in the fjord, a welcoming smile. What are they talking about? Don't worry, I'll explain tomorrow. Thank God, and I do prefer a small g, I'll explain tomorrow. Thank God she spotted the flat T. Spa, ra, spotted the, spotted the, spotted the, sorry. Spotted the epaulets, 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 epaulets. Lots of you wrote apple, okay? Yeah, good job. Yeah, this is a new word. Uh, for me, I have used this word three times. I was in the army, so maybe, maybe 10 times. I have used the word, 
But if you were never in the army, you probably would never use this word. I believe it's French, but the American pronunciation, epaulette, epaulettes, epaulettes, epaulettes. Spotted the epaulettes, spotted the epaulettes, epaulettes, tough word, on my Norwegian, 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 no, Norwegian ice fishing vest. Norwegian ice fishing vest. This is illogical. Uh, and I'll explain tomorrow.